Hi everyone, it's empties time and I have quite a few products so let's get started. First of all, and it was in one of my things on loving videos, is uh, it's a 10. And this, I there's just a, you can see a little tiny bit and what I'm doing is I'm setting it upside down. I'm really trying to get everything out of it because I love it. Um, totally love it, already repurchased it, but I did repurchase the one with the keratin in it because I'm finding that the keratin in products really makes my hair really soft and shiny, so I'm really liking anything with keratin in it, even if it's just, you know, a quick conditioner rinse out item. Love this. Not cheap. This was, I think, $18, and it's only four fluid ounces. But you just spray it in and um, it detangles and it adds shine, it controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, flat iron, and spray thermal protector. So, I really like this. Already repurchased it. This I got in one of my monthly subscription boxes, and it's called Philip B. Lavender Hair and Body Shampoo. And this I probably wouldn't purchase. I used it more as a body shampoo than as a hair shampoo. I like hair shampoos that really, really lather up. I have um, pretty long hair, and I like a good lather for me to feel clean. That's why the WEN, W-E-N, hair system, it did not work for me. I bought one for my daughter and, and tried it and I, I couldn't stand it because it's a shampoo, conditioner, leave-in, all that stuff in one and it does not lather up. So and it, some people might love it, it might be great for your hair but uh, it, I don't know, it might be better for shorter hair but for, I don't know, for me, just for me personally, I need a lather. This one, it smelled really good, but um, it didn't lather up so good, so I just used it on my body. I wouldn't purchase it, but there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, if you love it, then good for you. I've actually never even heard of it before. So, Philip B. Never heard of it, so I don't even know where you can find it, but I didn't love it, so I wouldn't purchase it. Okay, next I have the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. And I already have another one of these. I think they came in either a set or a free gift. Or, you know, one of those little travel size things. And I really like this. It's got itty bitty tiny little granules that exfoliate your face. And I used it after I cleansed my face. I then used this to get kind of a exfoliating deeper cleanse so I really liked it I don't know that I will purchase it because I have a lot of exfoliating cleansers that I need to use up but um but I did enjoy it I thought it did a nice job of getting off you know even when you wash your face sometimes you have that extra layer of leftover makeup on your face that sometimes you'll see with your toner as you as you clean your face with your toner you'll see it on the cotton swab when I used that I really didn't I didn't see any extra bronzer color on you know on my neck or whatever so I thought it did a really good job so you know maybe I would purchase it but sometime in the future maybe used up the Strivectin SD peptide actives um, the intensive concentrate for stretch marks and wrinkles and I used this on my face neck and my chest area and this came in one of the sets with the eye cream and the nighttime retinol which I'm almost out of that and I've been using I use this pretty religiously every day and every night and I think I did notice a difference in my skin I really liked it I have another uh, travel set that has this in it so um, I don't need to repurchase the big size right now but I do I have another one so I will be continuing to use it really really liked it I used up a couple of candles I used up the honeysuckle I don't know that I'd repurchase that one. It was okay. But you, you know how they have so many different kinds of candles. I like to try different ones. Strawberry Picnic. That was a nice one too. But I don't know that I... I mean, I might repurchase it. But um, not right now. Especially since we're going into fall. I'll more repurchase. Or get in there and purchase fall. fall. I want to say flavors. But scents. Um, let's see what I have now. Oh, I did, 
I think I showed you this already. I'm not sure if I did. Used it in my Studio Fix powder foundation. Oops, sorry, blinded you. I haven't repurchased another one of those because I have the mineralized skin finish that I'm going to use. So, oh, and that's an old one. I have my, whoops, I keep, oh, I just dropped everything. I keep all my back to Mac items in, in here. So I have a few things that I have used up, but I don't remember which ones I've already showed you. So I have a lipstick in here called Twig, and I think, I know I showed you that one because I told you that I dig it out. I have that, and I have a, and this one's not labeled because it came in a set of five, but it's a little lip gloss that hopefully they'll take that back. But this one I'm thinking I can even dig more out of there, so I might take that back out. Anyway, when you get, is it five or six items? that you've used up with MAC, you can take them back in and then they'll give you a lipstick. So I have, I keep those in a separate container for my back to neck. Used up one of these, the Cuticle Massage Cream by Sally Hansen. I'm addicted to these. I love these. I already have, I have like four of them around the house. So I've already repurchased those. So that one, loved it. And then this. The, I don't know if I have enough time to explain this. This came in one of my monthly subscription boxes. Is that the right way for you guys? Yeah. It's called J-Cat. Anyway, I used it one time and it busted out of there. So I, it looks really nasty. I depotted it and put it in a different, um, like a stupid little container. But it, I would not buy this. I love the color. It's a real nude color. You can see by all the mess what color it is. But consistency wise, mm -mm. I put it on once and it went all over. I mean, you saw the mess. It broke all over the container. So not very good quality stuff. But um, it's creamy and I love the feel of the lipstick and I like the color. But you'd have to depot it or put it in a different container. So I wouldn't purchase that. There's way too many other lipsticks out there that are the same kind of color, same kind of consistency that are actually good quality. So, and we're out of time for now. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed my empties. Let me know if you have any questions on any of the products and let me know what you've used up this month too. I love to hear what people are enjoying or not enjoying and what we can know that it is worth spending our money on and what we can save our money and do not even bother with. So let me know what you're using and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.